came back from the Levaya, we were very down and our minds were not proper and, and, and I was thinking all the work that has to be done in the house. And when I came home, everything was set up, everything was moved and put into the right area to make the maximum amount of room. Motsi Shabbos, one of the fellows brings up two, three big boxes of toys and he gives it to my grandchildren. And he sees that they're too young to open the boxes. So he got down on his knee and he opened up the boxes. And then he saw also that he's gonna to have to show them how to do it. And he stayed the whole time. I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. And then slowly it started to come back to me what kind of organization the Saskin is. I was nearing the end of my dispatching shift and we got a call from somebody in Bar Park saying that she has a Russian neighbor whose son passed away in Schenectady. They're not sure what's going on, but they need help to get the body released. There was a whirlwind of activity, getting in touch with everybody, trying to get through the legalities, finding out what really happened and how this body can be released expeditiously. Several hours later, Baruch Hashem, the medical examiner in Schenectady released the body and said that we can come pick it up. We drove a total of approximately 400 miles. The next morning, we had the Zchos, gave him a proper Tahara, Tachrichim, KV Yisrael, like every Yid. There have been many cases where tragedy strikes. It's at the worst time for a family. You've got a loss of life. And a lot of times it happens at the worst possible time, three in the morning, on a weekend, on a holiday. Masaskin never fails to come and they make it go so much better for the family and they're of such assistance for us, for our people to learn and to be told how do we need to proceed on this issue. A lot of times they have alternatives uh, that are viable for the legal prosecution of cases. For instance, uh, they're on the forefront of the virtual autopsy where you can do what's the equivalent of an MRI, still gather the necessary evidence you need to prosecute a case and this way the bad guy doesn't get let go, and, but yet the uh, Jewish law is respected. The Saskim goes to do the work in Klal Yisrael that is the most difficult. We never expected to get a phone call of a young mother who had both her arms and both her legs amputated. We couldn't go on. That was a day that anybody in the office needed strength. We were the ones who were tasked with burying these Evarm. This is a story that'll stay with us forever. Just a few weeks ago, there was a tragedy in the secular community. I get a call from Ms. Askim. They're going to present the family with various gifts with things that will comfort them. I came, I see that people are there representing the police department and different agencies, and it was so incredible to see the mother that lost a child, to see the siblings, the smiles on their faces, the Kiddush Hashem that they make, it's amazing. the world and singing on big stages is, is wonderful, but the most meaningful is clearly to be able to sing and bring a smile to the faces of young children who are broken. As a singer, I have this chus to bring joy to a yosim, to a yosoyma through singing. Just ask him without fanfare. I wouldn't say bring joy, 
but they bring comfort and dignity to those who are mourning. Many, many times where they've arranged for huge shuls packed with families, and they say nishmas and the davening and the heart-wrenching cries that go up to Shamayim. <laughs> I'm surprised Mashiach hasn't come yet, just from those to fill us alone. When you think of your children. We never say no 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When somebody calls Al Qatar Shalai Tovai, we're there. We're on the battlefield. We're in the front lines. Trying to do what we could do to ease another each pain. Somehow we say, no, Miss Askim, they do all their stuff and they got the trucks and they got all the chairs and they brought the water cooler and they were there at the fire and they do the chesed by going out where there's an unknown grave and they pay for everything. They did everything, but they do it. You know, that's their work. They do it. It just happens by itself. Well, one day, it don't happen by itself anymore. We're ready to step up to the plate and do what the Ebishta benched us that we could do to help Klai Yisrael. But we in return need that Klai Yisrael should help us. Bring on the day when there'll be no more tears. We'll never cry again.